So today I want to talk about the next episodes of Pokemon Journeys and give you all of the up-to-date information that we have as well as my predictions for the battle and the episodes to come. The first major thing worth noting is that the anime will be on break this week so there won't be an episode on March 25th. Instead episodes 103 and 104 will come out together as a one hour special on April 1st to commemorate the 25th anniversary of the Pokemon anime. Now let's talk about all the information we have relating to each episode. So episode 103 is titled Ash and Clement Great Friendship Training and based Based on the information we have from Cerebri, we know that Ash will be going to Lumio City in Kalos and will be training with Clement after he learns that he'll be battling Drassen of the Elite Four in a World Championship battle. The summary also mentions that Ash will be having a battle with Clement in this episode, which I think is cool since they battled during the first episode of X and Y, and then later in a gym battle and last in the final episode of X, Y, and Z. And all of those battles signal a change for different moments in the series, which is telling since Ash will be battling Drassen of the Kalos Elite Four in a battle that could take him into master class and because the summary also mentions that something is going to happen with Sir Fetch during their training which Draco Vish is going to take an interest in. And in one of the preview images for the episodes we see Sir Fetch who is connected to one of Clement's inventions and it kind of reminds me of what he had Ash hooked up to when he was training with Ash Greninja. I don't think we're getting an Ash Sir Fetch form since that would just be weird with Greninja returning. Chances are Sir Fetch is going to learn Meteor Assault which is its signature move that only it can use. And the episode preview also hinted at this where we see a glow on Sir Fetch's league. I think it's about time Sir Fetch learned a new move since it didn't have any fighting type moves that it could attack with before this. It only had detect so him learning Meteor Assault will definitely help him reach another level. When it comes to Dracovish it literally only has 3 moves so it learning a dragon type move would be great. It would be pretty cool if it learned Draco Meteor in the same episode Sir Fetch learned Meteor Assault but based on the preview it looks like it's going to be learning Dragon Rush which isn't bad either. They're definitely going to need these moves if Ash plans on beating Drassen of the Elite Four. So that covers all the information we have about episode 103. I was hoping we'd get to see Bonnie as a trainer, but in a statement from her voice actor, it sounds like Bonnie still isn't ready yet. So now let's talk about episode 104, which is titled Ultra Class Battle versus Drasna of the Elite Four. The title pretty much tells you what this episode is about. Ash will be battling Drasna of the Kalos Elite Four, who's ranked 12th in the World Championships in what looks to be a 2v2 with Ash using his powered up Farfetch and Dracovish according to the summary, and Drasna using her Noivern and Altaria who can mega evolve. When it comes to my thoughts on the battle and my predictions, I think Ash facing Drasna of the Elite Four is perfect for multiple reasons. The first being that it gives Ash another strong, incredible opponent to battle. When I learned that he was battling Marnie, I was excited that we got to see Marnie as a character. But I already knew Ash was going to beat her, so I was 0% worried. But when it comes to Drasna, it's not as cut and dry since she's a member of the Elite Four. I also like this matchup because Ash gets to return to Kalos in a way that feels natural and isn't forced and meet up with Clement and Bonnie since the Kalos League Arena is in Lumio City where Clement is which I think is a nice touch. When it comes to my battle predictions, first I want to mention that I think it's a weird pick when it comes to the two Pokemon Ash chose. If I was Ash I would have gone with Pikachu and Dragonite to battle Altaria and Noivern since they're both part flying and dragon type and that would have been the best counter. Plus Surfetch and Dracovish don't use any battle gimmicks and Drasen is definitely going to use Mega Evolution in this battle so unless he decides that one of them is going to use a Z move. Once she powers up into Mega Evolution, he's going to have to come up with a pretty good strategy to counter her. Mega Altaria does become Dragon Fairy when it Mega Evolves, so Dragonite would lose its counter effectiveness and become weaker, but Pikachu could easily counter that with a Z move, and if you throw Lucario in there, it could just Mega Evolve to give it enough power to combat it. Plus, it would give us a chance to see Mega Lucario in a Mega Evolution Showdown, which we've never seen before. I get that Sir Fetched and Dracovish need screen time in Ultra Class, but I still think it's risky since Surfetch is a fighting type and both her Pokemon are flying, giving it a disadvantage. When it comes to who I think will win the battle, I'm still going with Ash in a very close battle, like in his last Dragon type matchup against Iris, and him winning this would really help him further establish himself in the World Championships after beating another Dragon type trainer, this time who's part of the Elite Four, especially if this win takes him to Master Class. There is a slight chance that Drasna could win, but I still see Ash taking this and either joining the Masters 8 as the 8th ranked person, or being 9th in the standing so that he will have one more battle before reaching Master Class. I'd love for his next battle to be against Paul, whether he makes Master Class or not, but I guess we'll have to see what happens. With that being said, those are all my thoughts when it comes to these episodes and what could happen. We also got the episode title for 105, but it doesn't seem that interesting so I decided to skip it. Be sure to let me know what your predictions are in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and bye.